Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to move all these types of sockets. I'm going to show you both types. The ones like those and ones like these because they're very different. For example, I've removed one just to show you. So I can... There we are. Uh, it's got two, it's only two sided, whereas these ones have four pins on each piece. So uh, we start with we start with this one. So basically, all you do is use a chisel and a hammer. I don't know if I can be able to show on the video, but underneath you can just about see the little solder bits going across. You only have to hit the hammer gently once, and it should be able to go through each one of those. Like this. So there's one there. To start it off, you need to do it a bit harder, but let's go across like that. So as you can see, all the pins underneath that side has all been lifted. I'll just do the rest of this off camera, just so I can shorten this video. So as you can see, I've finished that side. You'll know if you've done it because it be able to wobble side to side. As you can see, it's at an angle now. So now one side's done, because it's only a two-sided one this one. All I have to do is get the chisel and pull it on the side where the pins still are pointing down. And you can just go up and it'll come off. The reason you don't just do it on both sides straight away is because the plastic will then peel off and you'll be left with the pins poking up and it's really hard to get the pins off without the plastic there. When the plastic's here, it'll be able to rip off. There we go. Every single pin is still in there. So now if you want to get the pins out, you can just use some pliers and pull each one out. Um, sometimes they have gold, sometimes they don't, these things. So I rather check before I take them off. Which as you can see clearly on this one, these are fully plated, very high grade ones. I'm not going to show you all them, just because it's a waste of time. This video. We'll now move on to these ones. These are basically the same, but instead of just doing the um, one pin at a time on one side, you go through both pins. You'll see it move quite a bit once you go through the second row. These pins are in much looser, so most will fall out whilst you're doing it. As you can see, a lot are falling out already. good thing you don't have to peel out the plastic then. Every now and then just pull the uh, gold plated pins into the box. If they're not plated quite often they'll just be uh, thinly plated on the ends so always check the ends on them. I'll come back when this side's done. As you can see, the uh, plastic poked up. It doesn't normally do that, but these are quite thin ones. Even though the plastic has poked up, it's pretty simple now because it's just one row left. I accidentally went through three, not two at a time, which you'll be, after you do it a few times, you've got practice. I've not done any today. In the past, I've done a lot, but you just need to get used to it again. Now it's just one row. 
you might as well do the next rows and then these are just peel back and forth really easy you ready to rip them out anyway thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe and like this video um check out my other videos because i've been showing you hourly rates on different things there is more of those coming soon um also check the description for any links to pages and things like that will help out and other youtube channels which are great to watch anyway thank you bye bye